Okay, so previously you've encountered this data structure. Anyone uh, who would tell me, who could tell me what structure is, this is, what data structure this is? Anyone? Something that you could insert at the back of um, the set of elements. And then if you remove an element, the one at the front gets removed. Okay, it's not a stack, okay? But you were close because it's on the same slide with stacks. FIFO method, correct? Okay. FIFO method is implemented in this um, data structure. But what data structure is this? Okay. You guys are correct with the FIFO method and FIFO policy. But what exactly the structure is this? Which data structure implements the FIFO method? Lapit na. Okay, queues, correct. So this is how queues are implemented. Okay, or at least how it visually looks like. We implement it implements the FIFO policy or FIFO method, which where the first element that goes in is the first element that goes out or popped out of the data structure. Okay, now, but in this case, as I've mentioned very briefly on the previous module, right? Uh, we rely here on the timing of entry. So whichever comes first. Okay, um, basically they're the ones who gets out of the queue first. Okay, but what if what if this new entry E has a, has the highest priority amongst A, B, C, and D? Okay, and by highest priority meaning uh, it should be uh, if we pop out a if we do a pop execution from this data structure, it should be the first one to come out. Okay. So yes, correct. So Q is uh, like a line in the grocery store. Okay. So whoever comes in the cashier to the cashier first, uh, the yun yung unang ita transact ni, uh, ni cashier. Uh, we could also think of order Q. Okay. Uh, if you remember the waiter uh, filing orders or queuing orders and the chef uh, basically cooks whatever is at the front of the queue, right? So that's also a queue. Now again, um, back to this, back to what I was saying. Uh, this structure relies on the timing of uh, the entry of elements. Okay, but what if E has the highest priority, meaning it should be the one, uh, it should be the first one to exit the queue first, um, uh, aside from A, B, C, and D. Okay, so that there is another data structure, okay, that would help us um, define those priorities, right? So it's what we call the priority queue, okay? Um, not quite creative, but basically it's a queue, but instead it's uh, the one that goes out first is defined by the priority or the rank of that specific element, okay? So priority queues, they store elements in a queue, still in a queue, based on assigned priorities. So it's not about whichever comes in first, okay? So it's now about the priority of that element. So it, if it's the highest priority, it, has, it means that it has to go out first, okay? So it requires a key, which indicates the priority when inserting that element into the queue. And it pops the element with the lowest key 
or the highest priority. So if you look at the examples here, we have two examples. We have a binary tree example. Okay, it's a it's a it's a binary tree as you can see. Okay, and uh, the highest number here. Okay, is at the top, which is okay. The number here at, at each node defines the priority, and the highest priority is located at the lowest key, which is one. Okay, so uh, if we look at its array um version or our implementation again 16 comes first which is the root of the tree then 14 and 10 so uh 2p okay if p is equal to 1 2 the left child is 2p which is 2 so 14 comes in and the right child is 2p plus 1 which is 3 so the 10 goes to index 3 now the, ch the children of 14 would be 8 and 7. So 8 and 7 comes in first. Then 9 and 3 goes in next. Then 2, 4, and 1 goes next into the, uh, into the queue or the array. Okay, so as you can see, uh, these are the two implementations okay? uh, of, of a tree. And this also defines priority queues okay so as you can see the, the join na ngayon yung two um data structures that we were that we discussed so the queues and the arrays okay uh the trees and the arrays are both applicable to represent a priority queue okay now these uh structure okay is pre uh, or let, let's take a step back now so a priority queue can be implemented with a structure called heap okay so a priority queue is not necessarily an a tree automatically okay again a priority queue can also be an array okay but we can if we want to represent it as a tree okay then it's a you can uh we have a special name for that which is what we call a heap okay a heap is a complete binary tree of entries such that for every node except the root, the node's key is greater than or equal to its parent key. Okay, so here, uh, two is greater than one. Okay, so the node, the node fourteen has a greater. The the key of node fourteen is greater than its parent, which is, uh, node sixteen. The same as node 10, which has the index or key 3, is also greater than the parent's key, which is 1. Okay, And the root itself contains the element with the minimum valued key, which is 1, which is again defined as the one with the highest priority. So because of this, again, because of the completeness um, definition of heap, uh, the most appropriate implementation is an array, okay? Previously, we defined that an array-based implementation enforces the implementation or, or array enforces the, the implementation of a complete binary tree, okay? So that's why um, array is also suitable to, to uh, implement a heap, okay? But the thing is, once we do insertion or removal of elements, we have we still have to check the completeness of the binary tree. Okay, completeness again. All the elements are pushed to the left, or uh, basically the left child has to be filled in first. Okay, so ayun siya. So that's why kanina I want you to earlier I want you to take note of that that array enforces the completeness of uh, a binary tree. Right. So, how do we insert an array, an element now in this, um, in this structure? Okay. So, this is the algorithm for that. So, if we add the new element at the end of the array, okay, then we compare the key of the newly added element with its parent key to check if the heap property is observed. Okay. What is this heap property that we're talking about? Again. The node's key is greater than or equal to the uh, to its parent key. Okay, so that's what we want to achieve here. Okay, now if the heap property is violated, meaning the parent uh, 
meaning that the key of the node is uh less than the priority uh less than the priority of the parent key then we swap the elements uh but we swap that element with its parent key and then we repeat this process until the heap property has been observed or is satisfied so in effect the new element is being promoted every iteration until it reaches its appropriate level okay does that make sense Does it make sense or do you have any questions? Uh, sir, can you repeat the like, I know, magic will get in the slide before that. Okay. All right. So the heap property, again, the, uh, the important thing that you need to remember here is this section. Okay. The nodes key is greater than or equal to its parent key. Okay, this is the, and then the root has the minimum valued key. Okay, so in this sense, this is the heap property that we want to observe. And if this is violated, okay, we need to swap that new element with its parent. So that's how, uh, that's what we're talking about here. Okay, so for example, here, this is 116, the key is one, here, the key is 2, the key is 3. So it follows the heap property because 2 is greater than 1, 3 is greater than 1. Okay. Now, nodes 8 and 7 follows the heap property with 14 because, again, 4 is greater than 2, 5 is greater than 2. Right. So as long as the node's key is greater than or equal to its parent key, then the heap property is satisfied. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the the takeaway from this slide, and now if we want to insert elements, okay, so basically we add it first at the end of the array. So meaning if we add a new element here, okay, let's say we we add uh, eighteen. Okay, if we add eighteen here, that means we are adding a new node. 18 in this case and that key would be something else let's say then you have to swap the key if let's say let's say the priority of this one is two okay because that's a new priority okay that's the key then you have to check whether it is aligned uh with if it if the heap property is observed okay now if as you can see the key of this uh new element 18 is two which is less than uh, the parent key, then we have to swap the two elements. So this 18 goes here. This becomes 18, 2. This goes down and becomes 7, 5. Okay. Now we have to, if this, in this case, 18 and 2, uh, it's now observed. The, the heap property is now observed because the keys, uh, the key of node 18 is greater than or equal to its parent key, which is 2, then we stop at this iteration. Okay, so ganun yung um, insertion of an element. Okay, so maybe let's add, um, let's add visuals to this one again. So again, we add the element at the end of the array. We compare the key of that new element with its parent key. Okay, if it's greater than or if the parent, if the node of the new element is greater than or equal to the uh, parent key, then we have, then heap property is observed. Okay, if the key of the new element is less than the parent key, then the heap property is violated. If the heap property is violated, then we swap the last position with element at its parent, okay? So the, that element, we swap it with its parent and we repeat that process until the heap property is observed, okay? So we are raising the, the, that, that, that new element to its appropriate level, okay? So let's add some visuals, okay? Let's say this is our tree, okay? 
these numbers okay are the keys and these letters basically is uh, are the elements okay so the note the value c is at the top which has the lowest uh, priority which has the highest which has the lowest key so that means it has the highest priority okay so if we look at the rest of the nodes here so five is greater than four so heap property is observed from this perspective six is greater than four so heap property is also observed from this side 15 is greater than or equal to five so correct this is heap uh heap property is observed nine is greater than five so correct this is uh the heap property is observed at node f okay and we follow through the rest of the nodes seven is greater than or equal to six 20 is greater than or equal to six correct 16 15 25 15 14 9 12 9 11 7 8 7 so the entire tree follows the heap property okay now, if we want to add a new element, again, first thing we need to do is to add it at the end of the array or fill in the first, uh, fill in the, uh, the next available child, okay? So if we add 2t, okay? So now we define here that the key is 2 and the element is t, okay? So it has a high priority because it's actually a low number, now, we now check with its parent key if it follows the heap property, okay? So in this case, is 2 greater than or equal to 20? No. Okay, no. Therefore, we have to swap the two elements, okay? So 20B comes down, goes down, 2T goes up. Okay, so we swap the element with its parent. Okay, again, the path of in a tree, right? So we the path are along those edges. So we cannot actually swap siblings, but we can actually swap parent and uh, children. Okay, so now 2t goes up here, 20b goes down. We now check again that new element if it follows the heap property with its new parent. Okay, so now here we have 2 and 6. Is 2 greater than or equal to 6? Still no. Okay, still no. So what do we have to do? We have to... Swap the parent and child. Okay, we swap the parent and child. So we swap 2T and uh, 6Z. Now 2T is now at level 1. Okay, now again, let's check the heap property again. Is 2 greater than 4 or equal to 4? No. No, pa then. So again, we have to do the swapping again between the two until we arrive at this new 3. Okay? So you can verify if heap property is still observed. So 5 is still greater than or equal to 2. 4 is still is greater than or equal to 2, correct? 6 is greater than or equal to 4, correct? 20 is greater than or equal to 6, correct. So as you can see here, the heap property is now observed. Okay, so that's how we insert an element on a uh, priority queue. All right, this is in a heap structure. Okay, any questions so far? Any questions here? None for me, Paul. Okay. So yeah. So ganun lang siya, no? So we uh basically we added we add the new element at the end of the array, or basically the left, the 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 next available node. Okay. Uh the immediate next the immediately the next immediately available node. Okay, and then we compare that with its parent node. Okay, again, from an array-based implementation, we just need we just need to get the index of that current element and then do an int uh, integer division divided by two to determine the parent node. 
Okay, and then if it if it doesn't follow the heap property, then we swap the two elements. We do that um, iteratively until we um, arrive at until we satisfy the heap property. Okay, so now if we pop the element here, this two t should go out first because it has the highest priority now, or the lowest uh, or the minimum valued key. Okay, so how do we remove two t in this case? Okay, so we have this second algorithm for deletion or removal okay, of that node, of that root. So we remove the root element, okay? So it will be returned by a method, okay? If you remember our queue, right? So we return, okay? If we do a queue that pop, which basically returns, um, let's say the array is x head. Okay, or the front. notation. So we return that new element, or that we return that root or the first element. Okay. Now, now we get the last element in the array and place it at the root position. Okay. We compare this element's key from the root's children's keys and check if heap property is observed. If heap property is violated, we swap the root element with the child with the minimum key value. Repeat the process until heap property is satisfied. So kanina, if when we insert an element, we go from the leaf up to the root. Okay, or we basically go upwards because not all the time naman we end up at the root. Because of that priority of the new element, we ended up at the root. No? So um, insertion, basically we traverse the tree from bottom up. Now for deletion, we remove the root, we use the last element as the root, and now we traverse the tree from the root down to the bottom or to the leaf, or basically we're going downwards. Okay, so it's the reverse process of the insertion. Now let's look again at the visual. Okay, now we have this three. So it's a different three from earlier. So now we have four C. Okay, and if we want to pop this priority queue, or if we want to remove the one with the highest priority, we simply move four C out, return it from a method, and uh, use the last element as the root of the tree. Okay, Ulitayo. Okay, we remove 4C, we, we return it via method, and then we use the last element of the array or the tree and bring it up as the root of the tree. Okay, so yeah, me arrow. And then, ngayon, 13W is now the new, um, the new, root of this tree from here we now go downwards to check the heap property is 13 uh greater than is 5 greater than or equal to 13 okay I type the heap property again heap property child's key is greater than or equal to its parent's key. So we, we just need to check this priority. Okay? So now, we have the parent or the root 13 W. Okay? We now look at the left child first. Is 5 greater than or equal to 13? No. No, sir. No, okay. So we swap the 2. Tamba. Oops. Okay. Since it doesn't follow the heap property, then we swap the 2. Okay. So as you don't need to check the right child, okay, because... Dun palang sa first child, sa left child, it already violated the, the heap property. Okay, so uh, we, we can swap the two right away. Okay, so now 13 is the new position. Ah, sorry. 
Um, level 1 is now the new position of 13W. Let's check among these two. Okay. Is 15 greater than or equal to 13? Hello? Is 15 greater than or equal to 13? 15 is greater than yes, 13. Pa. Yes, pa. Okay, yes. So this means that this two, okay, so this one uh, follows the heap property. Now let's look at the next child. Is, thir is nine greater than or equal to 13? No. No. Okay, so now since it's, it doesn't follow the heap property, we will now have to swap the two. Okay, swap the two. We swap the two, now it goes down here. Okay, now we do one last checking since we're about to reach the end of the tree. Is 14 greater than or equal to 13? Yes. Yes, okay. So now let's look at the right child. Is 12 greater than or equal to 13? No. Okay, no. So what do we have to do? Swap both of them. Swap the two of them. All right. So we now swap the two of them. And now we arrive at this new tree, which follows the heap property. Okay. So now move up yung, uh, uh, the one with, we now have the, the new root, which is 5A. It has the least number of uh, minimum valid key. Okay. And that last element was moved to this position. Okay. So it's still, we still follow the heap property. All right. Any questions so far? Uh, sir. Mm -hmm. Is there any specific reason it was 13W? Uh, it, it's 13W because it was the last element in the tree or in the array earlier. Okay. So that's the first. Uh, okay, if we go back from the animation, okay, this is the original tree. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we replace, of course, this one needs to be popped out. Okay, this 4C, it will go away, right? Diba? So it is return natin because it has the highest priority. So if we pop this priority queue, this 4C comes out first. Okay, now. We, based on the algorithm, okay, we will use the last element in the array or the last element in the tree, uh, and we will put it now at the root of the tree. Okay, so this is the first thing that happened. So we remove 4C, and then the 13W, we move it up to the root. That's why we have 13W. Uh, that's why we are moving 13W at this point. Oh, so sir, when you mean last, that 13W was like the most recently put value? Because wouldn't 25J be the last since it's the highest number? Uh, not necessary. So uh, it's not also the, la the latest. Um, uh, it, it's not also the last element that came in. Okay. Because probably because when they inserted it, the, the structure of the tree has changed already. Okay. So as long we just need to look at the last element, which is 13W, not necessarily the 25J, because 25J is already in the middle of the tree. Okay. So again, if you if you recall the array implementation here, right? Okay. So if we have an array here. So basically, we fill in, um, we go from the top to bottom, left to right. So we fill in C, A, then Z, then K, then uh, what's this? F, Q, B, X, J, E, H. Oops, kulang. Iba ba ko na lang? S. 
W. Okay, so this is the array version of this tree. So we simply just have to look at the end of the tree. We pop out C and then we move W to the um the front of the tree or the or the root of the tree. Okay. okay. Thank you, sir. All right. So now we are we are instead of okay, the difference between priority queues and the standard queues. Okay, so standard queue, there's clearly no priority at all among elements. So who, the, the priority is defined by the timing of the entry. Okay, actually, yeah, there is a priority, but the timing is defined as the timing of entry. So whoever comes in first has the higher priority than the succeeding elements. Okay, uh, now with priority queues, okay, we, we have a defined priority, which is not based on timing we can actually dictate a specific key that can help us define the priority of that element. Okay, so that's a different, uh, this is a different scenario now. So from here, uh, for C, so C has the lowest um, key, which defines that it has the highest priority. So if we, if we do a pop execution command here on this array, C goes out first, okay? So for C goes out first, this becomes vacant. Then we get the last element in the tree or the last element in the array and move it up to the root of the tree. And then from there, we demote that last element up to the appropriate level where it's supposed to be. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. So, yun siya. All right. So, uh, again, we're not depending on 25 because 25 is placed here. It's already in the middle of the array. Okay. So, we just need to look at the end of the array. So, the so it's much easier for us to... Uh, it's more fa It's basically faster for uh, in terms of runtime. So, we just have to get the end and then push it back up to the root and then just demote it. That's easier compared to looking for 25, then go back up and then just and then do the mode because you have to search uh, for the 25 first. Okay, so there's also a runtime implication if we do that. So to avoid that, to avoid that runtime implication, we just get the last and then we demote it as it is. Okay. Okay, again, the repeat of the animation. 4C goes out, 13W goes at the top. 13W is the last element. Now we demote it as it goes down. Okay. As soon as long as the heap property is violated, it keeps uh it's being demoted until it arrives uh, at its appropriate level, which is now 13W in this case. Okay. So yeah, any questions so far? Okay, none. How about the rest? Are there any questions? Would you like me to repeat both insertion and the removal? Okay, none. All right. Okay, so that's the heap property. Okay, now insertion and removal operations require traversing the tree through its height, or we traverse the tree vertically. Okay, as you can see here, okay, this one, we traverse from the root down to the leaf. Okay, the insertion, we traverse from the leaf to the root. Okay, and that distance, again, as we observed Kanina, the, as you, uh, if, we, if you remember the property of the tree, okay, Height is equal to O log N. Okay, now I'm using the big O notation. I'm using the worst case. Okay, because worst case number of swaps, 
we swap everything from we swap from the root the leaf or from the last leaf to the root okay does that make sense okay so we are traversing we are now moving we are swapping um from the root to the leaf or from the leaf to the root okay and if we go that way okay as you can see here no from here we go down we go down we go down we actually traverse we are actually traversing uh at the height okay which is equal to um o log n so the uh that's why the runtime for both insertion and removal is o log n okay now why is this important okay uh arrays in general okay let's try to recall for arrays if we insert a new element okay it can be o of n while if we read an element we can read it can be o of 1 okay so as long as we know the index okay uh we can easily get we can easily get any random uh i uh, element from an array okay for lists it's the other way around insert okay we're going to equals insert is equal to o of one because basically for a list we insert it at any uh at uh basically insert at the end at the at the at any available slot in the memory so it's o of one Okay, but reading is O of N because we have to look at all the elements first before we find an element. Okay, compared to arrays, if you know the index, you can simply pull out that element and read from that element. That's why it's O of 1. For lists, we don't know where it is positioned across the memory because it's because it simply um, inserts that element on any available slot in the memory. So it, the computer has to read through all the elements first before it reaches that specific item. So it's an O of N. Now for heap, insert is O of log N and read is O of log N. Okay, so what does this mean? This means that for insertion, proper, for insertion uh, operations, it's much more efficient than an array. Okay, again, if you look at uh, runtime complexity, O of log N is better than O of N. Okay, if you remember this property, okay, O of log N is better than O of N. Okay, so which means that insertion properties of a heap is better or more efficient than an array and its read property is more efficient than a list, okay? So now we have a more balanced data structure compared to uh, arrays and lists, right? So that's why this runtime property here is very important, okay? Any questions so far? None for me. How about for the rest? Are there any questions? None for me, sir. All right. So we don't have to derive anymore. Okay. Come back at O of log n. Just remember, because we are traversing through their height, okay, basically the maximum number of uh, swaps or traverses that you can do is equal to the height of the tree. Okay. Yun lang yun. So that's why, and remember, if you remember the property, the height is equal to log n, okay? So the runtime is expected to be O of log n. And for that's for both insertion and removal. If you refer, if you recall that animation, right? Uh, on insertion, we are swapping from leaf to root. Um, on deletion, we are in we are swapping from root to leaf. Okay, so that's why it's both log n. Therefore, for insert and read. It's both O of log N. Okay. So with N, uh, 
equal to the number of nodes or number of elements. Okay. Okay, and then we arrive here at this comparison. Arrays, this is the performance list. This is, this is, these are the performances. Okay, for heap, ito nga yung performance niya. Okay, it's a much more balanced compared to arrays and lists. Okay, uh, it's in between the two already. Okay. Questions, last, hear it on the questions. Okay, if there are no questions, uh, let me stop the recording.